Welcome once again to today's uh, class. I welcome everybody all over Africa, all over the world, all over Nigeria. I welcome everybody to the, uh, today's class. Uh, this is uh, your host, um, and the Rafael Institute's word. So please, um, this is uh, uh, the second of our class. If you are in our previous class last time, we looked at how to dilute our acid and. Um, uh, I told us subsequently our next class will be to dilute our heart, sodium hydroxide, which is our base. So, looking at the board here, we have, uh, we are going to the one chemistry particle, how to dilute our base, sodium hydroxide. So, we dilute 4.8 grams of sodium hydroxide with 1000 ml of ionized water or 1 liter of ionized water. water. Please, before I start, um, if today is actually your first time of watching this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share our like and share on our Facebook page. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and we promise to keep you updated. So once you click on the red button, we keep updating you each time our video is being uploaded. Okay? Now join us for today's class. So we're looking at uh, the, uh, the dilution of our what base. So this is actually my sodium hydroxide okay so maybe let me come close to the camera so this is my sodium hydroxide okay if you look at it so this is the pellet one the pellet not the powdered one this is the pellet okay i have my ionized water here which is also my distilled water so i also have my beakers okay i have my beakers i have my 500 beakers okay i have my measuring cylinder which is 1000 ml so it means that i'm going to use 1000 ml of ionized water to dilute this uh, uh, this uh, sodium hydroxide which is the base if you if if what if you followed me in our last class we when we diluted our acid we also use 1000 and of course i, I told us um, um the reason why we are using 1000 because it is equivalent to one liter of water you use in that provided you have diluted the acid with 1000 liter 1000 ml or 1000 uh, or one liter of water or ionized water you also use that same 1000 to um, dilute the sodium hydroxide so join me now world let's go down to the business okay of course after we must have prepared this which means our titration is ready we can now carry out our titration okay so we need to prepare this reagent. Okay, so looking at the board there, we have 4.8 grams of sodium, meaning that I have to meaning that I have to measure out 4.8 grams of sodium hydroxide and dilute it. Okay, so here yeah, this is my sodium hydroxide and the uh, quick one. I have to open it. Okay, I have my petri dish. This is my petri dish. Okay, I have my petri dish. I have my way balance. This is my way balance. This is the GT2 well balance. Okay, let me bring it very close. So like you see, this is my g 2 well balance, okay? This is my g 2 well balance, you can see it very well. So I'm going to take my g 2 well balance to measure out 4.8 grams of sodium hydroxide. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to place this, okay? If you don't know, if you really do not know how to use it, once you on it, okay, this is the power button, okay? Look at the right there, the on and the off. Once you put, once you power it, okay? Now, you place this, it's, it will be on 0.0, .0 gram. You place this, the petri dish on the top, allow it, make sure that it is at 0.0. .0. Please, if it is negative, it is wrong. Make sure that it is digital. It's digital number, it is placed in digital, so make sure that it is at 0.0. Uh, .0. .0. So the moment you place it, try to make it, try to adjust it to 0.0. .0. .0. So, you have to, uh, we have the tarry, you press the tarry and then take us to 0, 0.0. Of course, you can see it already. I press the tarry, it's at 0, 0.00. So look at it, look at the tarry. When you press it, okay, it take us to 0, 0.0. Okay, so it take us to 0, 0.0. The moment I place it, I'll have up to 0, 0.0 before placing my value. Okay, so you can, can you see it? So I have my 0, 0.0 there. So now, what you need to do, the moment you place it, make sure that you adjust it to 0, 0.0. So you, you adjust it, now it is at 0, 0.0 now. 
So this mycelium I've just already opened it. Okay, I will be needing my spatula. Okay, this is my spatula. Okay, I will need to take 4.8 gram and ask to what to dilute. So I have to take them one after the other. Okay, this is 1.0. This is 1.5. This is um, 2.8. You need to be very careful, okay? 3.7, just need two. Okay, 4.0. Okay, 4.4, 4.5. I need to add one. Okay, 4.7. And of course, the moment you open this, make sure that you make, make sure that you close because when exposed to air, it can turn to aqueous. Okay, so it can easily dissolve immediately. Okay, it is very very soluble in water. So this is. I'll add more one. Okay, add more one. Okay, so this is four point eight zero. Four point. Okay, this is four point nine, and I have four point eight. So I have to remove one. I have to remove one. Okay, look at it. I remove one exactly four point eight. So I close it. Okay, make sure that I close this very well because it is so it won't, when exposed to air, it can, it can turn to aqueous. Okay, so this is my 4.8 gram of sodium hydroxide. So next thing is this is my beaker, this is my four beakers, my three beakers. Okay, so I'm going to take the spatula. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to split them among these three um, beakers. So I'm going to take this. Okay, one after the other. One after the other. Make sure that you do that very fast. You don't allow it to dissolve on the on on this uh, petri dish. Make sure that you take them one after the other. Make sure that you take them completely. Okay, you can see what I'm doing. You can see what I'm doing. Some people, some might be thinking that it will not dissolve. This is very soluble in water. Okay, so that's why the moment you open it, make sure that make sure that you close it back immediately. Okay, so join me. So I am going to dilute, I'm going to dilute this with 1000 ml. I'm going to dilute this 1000 ml of uh, of uh, ionized water or tasted water, which is one liter. So I'm going to quickly measure out. I'm going to quickly measure out um, one uh, one thousand ml or a liter of water with my measure, uh, measuring cylinder. Okay, so I'm going to turn one thousand. So this is my distilled water. Okay, so I'm going to turn. Okay, so I'm going to take 1,000. Can you see what I'm doing? Take 1,000 of my nice water. Take 1,000. Make sure that it's at exactly 1,000. Okay, be careful because of um, you can allow it to balance. Look at the menu scores very well. Okay, so it is a bit above 1,000. So I need to reduce the quantity a little. To reduce the quantity. Okay, so can you see it? That's very good. This is 1000. Maybe I'll bring it very close to the screen so that you can see it very well. Okay, so if you look at it very well, it's already at 1000. Look at below the meniscus, it says 1000. So, I haven't done that. I haven't done that. So, having done that, you will have to, you have to mix this boat. Okay. Mix this boat. So I'll turn this. Can you do what I'm saying? Turn this. Okay. And I'll also do this to this place. Okay. Turn this. Turn it. Make sure that make sure that one drop of this did not drop from the ground. Okay. Make sure it doesn't drop on the ground, please. It's very, very important. Okay, so I have splitted this among these four beakers, okay, containing our sodium hydroxide. So look at it, I have them here now. Okay, now look at this. I will need to start mixing them very well. Okay, 
Where is my spatula? So I'm going to take my spatula or my, uh, or my glass rod. So, but I will be comfortable using the spatula, okay? Make sure that you stay there very well. Okay? Stay there very well. Stay very well. Okay? You stay. Stay very well. Stay very well. Okay? So you can, you can start the mixing, okay? You turn this to this. Allow this, the whole of this will dissolve completely. To dissolve completely. Okay? You turn this. At a point you will not see the pseudo micro. Pseudo micro is will dissolve completely. Okay? Will dissolve completely. Make sure that you mix thoroughly. And again, make sure that no drop, okay? No one drops, please. It's very, very important, okay? Make sure that no one drops, okay? So, you can see what I'm doing. I make this. Okay, make this. Make this. Okay, what well, you keep doing, okay? Until it completely dissolves, okay? Into the solution, okay? So, mix them completely. Okay. Of course, so that my brothers have uh, gradually, gradually dissolve completely. Okay. This is what I'm doing. Please be careful that no one drops. Okay. So that we will have a very good end point during our titration. Okay. So. So. Because, can see it? Okay. Can you see this? Okay. Can you see this? Okay. So turn it. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. You keep turning. Please make sure that you mix them thoroughly. Okay. Until there is no. There is no sign of the sodium hydroxide still at the bottom of these beakers. Okay? Dissolve them completely. And that is what I'm doing. Okay? Dissolve them completely. Dissolve them completely. Okay? So this is exactly what I'm talking about. You can see that our sodium hydroxide has completely dissolved in this solution. Okay? So here. What I'm still doing. Can you see it? Okay, it has completely dissolved. It has completely dissolved. Of course, it is something that very, very interesting. It's a very interesting uh, section. So I can see it. Now, about this, about this. So, we are good to go. Our titration is now ready. Okay, so this is our base, our sodium hydroxide. Okay, remember this is 4.8 gram of sodium hydroxide. Okay, diluted with one liter of water. Okay, so this is it. This is it. Okay, this is it. Very good. This is not magic. I've completely dissolved my sodium hydroxide. Okay? This is now my base. Completely dissolved all of them. Can you see it? This is wonderful. Okay, so our base is ready. So, what I'm going to do is I get my acid container. Okay? Get a cork and then put them inside and then level them my words. Okay? Like if you're in my last class, my previous, uh, yes, uh, previous class. Okay? I told us that we are going to have our, our AN, our BN, and our C, okay? Maybe our CN. So, I'm done with my AN, and I told us that before that, our AN is my acid, okay? This is my acid, which I diluted in our last class, okay? And then this is my base, okay, which I just um, uh, diluted just now, okay? So, 
like I told us, let go. We'll come. The next class will be at our scene, looking at our sort analysis. So I will urge you, I will urge you to be there, okay, to follow us up and um, and uh, to follow us up on our sort analysis, okay. What we'll be looking at, what we'll be looking at our CN. So uh, this is our base, which is our sodium hydroxide. So I'm going to put it in a cup and then we'll level it and then the date, okay. So like I told us, this is 4.8 gram of our sodium hydroxide, just diluted with 1,000 liter of water. I hope. Uh, I hope uh, you've, uh, you've, uh, you've uh, learned how to dilute this uh, base and uh, in our subsequent class we'll be looking at how to dilute other acids but why I am taking time to do this because of what they, uh, because of YA okay so to, well, I want to just take my time to dilute uh, this and also uh, uh, the students and the teachers in the science field to also see uh, what is uh, what is obtainable okay in the field of science so thank you for being with us thank you for um, thank you for always looking out for our videos okay please like i said before if this is your first time of uh, being in this um, watching this video please subscribe to our youtube channel okay hit on the right uh, on the red button to give you updates whenever our video is being uploaded okay from all of us this is uh, your host and the rapid tutors okay so please if you have any question Okay, if you have any question, you can please you can put you can put your question across to us. Our phone numbers have been released already. But if you don't have our phone numbers, please okay, drop your question in the comment section. I'm going to look at the questions and then and uh, give uh, give you the answers to those questions. Okay, like I told us, our classes are always Mondays, um, Mondays, Wednesday, and Saturday. Okay, so always follow up on our videos. Okay, and uh, we we'll promise to give you an. Uh, uh, an educative and uh, exciting uh, teachings and uh, tutors. Okay, so please, for the last time, okay, please, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share and like our page on our Facebook. Thank you. See you in the next class.